from one of the loudest venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So the Broncos coming out now. Throwing to start the drive. Nix and incomplete to open things up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. This is Williams. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. On first down, Knicks. He's got it complete to Cortlin Sutton. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Next to receivers help spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Adam Troutman, the intended receiver, and it's third down and two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. And partner, when you run the ball on third and two, you're telling the whole world you've got nothing but confidence in your offensive line and your runner, and you expect to get it. But they were stuffed on that play. Only got one yard. Great job by the defensive front, the linebackers. Everyone got involved to force a fourth down. The kick by Lutz is good. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's three zip. So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field.
Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Mahomes quickly complete out wide. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up second down. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. But they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down. And they'll probably have to punt it away. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. And Marvin Mims deep for Denver. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker try on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. That sun's going to be a factor all game long. I'm not sure it made a difference on that one, but it's something to think about on all deep throws during this time of year. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again. Nix. That's caught. It's Marvin Mims. 30 prior to going out of bounds. 22 yards there, a first down. Back to throw. Nix, that's complete to Troutman right side. And he'll be knocked to the turf right there as he gets it up to the 43. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Reed, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. He's going to find his tight end gray complete. So the completion good for just three, and that will bring up second down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. They'll be caught by Rice. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And this is caught. It's Brown. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 
Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them to tackle. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare for the defense. No matter who they put on him, he's going to win the battle. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Denver's offense ready to go again. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Again, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Nix, a short one to the tight end, Troutman. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 46, here's second and a couple. Back to throw. Nix, this ball tipped and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. You gotta give some credit there. Able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and get some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. On third and two, Nix. And he is caught. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. And I think there defensively, they were so intent on stopping the run that they kind of got caught out of position. This is just a simple pitch and catch for a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They'll look to throw again. And this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. A great play there. 
26 yards. And the Broncos have regained the lead. Boy, Charles, that's a great response drive from the rookie quarterback. Remember, threw the pick on the previous possession. Here, he's able to lead him down and throw it into the end zone for the touchdown. And I know from the draft analysis that this is exactly why this team wanted to take this young man. They thought his ability to bounce back from mistakes and quickly turn them into positives, that was something they wanted on their team, and we just saw evidence of it right there. This young man doesn't let anything get to him, and he finds a way to come back big. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Then confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That goes for a gain of 31. And this is how you answer a touchdown on the other end. You come out throwing to start your own drive. And not just throwing, but pushing it down the field. And they come up with a big play as they try to answer back with a score of their own. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And this will be caught once again by Brown. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Well, he's been a busy man in this first half. They've targeted him quite a bit, including both plays here to start this drive. And until that defense starts reacting a little better, they may just keep going back to him. On play action, it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll make it second down. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right, that run after catch. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It'll go as a gain of four. And now we've got a third down and three. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Barton, I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Butker's kick here is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays, and when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake, because the extra point's not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. 
The Broncos offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. Throwing to start the drive. Knicks. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Trent McDuffie getting the chance to blitz and finishing it off with a sack. Well, their first sack of the game, and it doesn't come from a usual suspect, not somebody up front, but Charles, a defensive back getting in there. And I can tell you from experience, he's beyond excited to make that play because you're exactly right. Is it normal to call his number to run at the quarterback like that? Usually you're defending the pass, but he takes full advantage and dumps him to the turf. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. I like the thinking there, because right after a sack, it can be a great time to call for a screen to your running back and use the eagerness of the defense against him. Able to gain some positive yards out of this one and make things a little bit easier for him on third down. On third down, Knicks in trouble, and he's taken down. Trent McDuffie. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. We had a pretty good idea that they were going to pressure this young quarterback, and that's now two sacks here in the first quarter. And yeah, this is a secret to exactly nobody, because if you're a rookie quarterback, you know you're going to see pressure. Defenses want to see how you're going to handle it, or if it forces you into making bad decisions. That's their goal. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it's Chiefs football, first and ten. KC's offense ready to take over. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that, really, that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings for some reason it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200 plus right now. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the gun, they'll try to run it. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Now Mahomes. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Butker's kick here is good, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt, just the way you used to hit a partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was a high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level you hit them, they go through.
After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. From his end zone, Marvin Mims. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. From the 28, it's second and five. Off play action. Nix. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. From the gun on third down, Nix. A throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt him away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, right at the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Short throw, hauled in by Kelsey. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. It's so important to tackle well against these guys, but you and I both know that's easy. done when the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy. And it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did right there. Mahomes now on first down. But no hesitations, they go right back to Kelsey. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football, and getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't yeah, it? the veteran showing he still has the agility. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And this pass caught by Gray. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. 
Well, he has been the featured receiver on this drive. They've looked his way a number of times. Why not get it to him on third down? And they do. And they're able to keep this drive moving. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquise Brown. A 22-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to extend their lead. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well that they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. Escaping a tackler at the 25. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Throwing on first down. Nix. And he's taken down. A chief sack. Chris Jones gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. He's able to get four back on the run, but now they'll have to find something here on third and about 14. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Had the pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. Across midfield, down to the 45. Good for 22 and a first down. As always, no rooting interest here. But that was pretty, wasn't it? To see him break through and then pick up his stride. Yeah, the guy carrying the ball loves it. I think the O-line, they might like and take more satisfaction out of those runs than anybody else, though, right? Without a doubt, because they're the ones that often have created it. Mahomes' throw complete there to Rice. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now here's Mahomes. Short throw held in by Kelsey. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 
Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. I know that no game in the NFL is ever easy, but they're making it look that way. Everything is being done with such precision. Just on this drive alone, three plays, three first downs. If you're on defense, you're scrambling, looking at each other, trying to figure out how are we going to slow these guys down. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way, a dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. So now then, the penalty's got them set up with a first and goal. Throw left side, completion to Rice. Touchdown! Rasheed Rice from three yards out. And the Chiefs are able to widen their advantage. The defense is doing their best, but they're struggling right now. They'll look for some help from their own offense to keep them in the game. Butker on for the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Set to take over, the Broncos offense trots back out. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Flush to his right, and he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Operating from the gun. Nix. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. On first and 10, Nix. A quick throw there is incomplete. Adam Troutman, it'll be second down. Up the middle, here's P. Ryan. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. He came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles, rolling the second quarter. And that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays. Might have to think about some misdirection or something to try and get him away from the ball. To throw on third down, Nix. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. 
And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well, where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. 25 yards that time. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And this one is incomplete. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because... Like, like him is going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. Uh, here's a handoff out of the gun. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. The Chiefs on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. Mahomes now to throw. And a quick throw here that's complete. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they get it rather easily there. A gain of nine on fourth and three. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. So they convert on fourth, and now from just outside the 30, here's first and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A well-executed 22-yard game. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are able to add on to their first half lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Let's do it! Let's do it, baby! Turn it up! You call it? 
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Denver's offense now set to go. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. The drive starts with a handoff to Piron. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. When you're trying to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Back to throw now on second and 10. That one behind his receiver and incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Here's second and ten. Back to throw again. Sutton reeling it in on the left side. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. That one going for... And I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. They'll look to throw again. complete as well. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Here's Riley Dixon now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. Yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. Mahomes now on first down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Hey, 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 hey. 
They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Throwing now is Mahomes. It's complete to Brown, right side. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And again, it's Mahomes. Oh, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Baron Browning from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Here now, second and four. Looking to throw is Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. So a holding penalty, and that'll send him backwards. You know they're trying not to do that. I mean, we know that, right? We talk to them all the time. But sometimes the defensive guys just put you in awkward situations, and you get caught grabbing their jerseys. Now Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it brings up third and five now. They'll look to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And this is what it's been like all game long. Guys running free in the middle of the field. This defense has just had no answer for this passing game. And that's another good hookup there. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. On play action, it's Mahomes. And his throw's going to be incomplete. I would describe the way that he's played today as mature. He's already moved on mentally from that incompletion, and he's more than ready to throw his next pass downfield. Let's go. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Mahomes to throw once more. That'll be caught by Rice. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 25-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Oh, it's complete. A diving grab there by Brown. And down inside the 15 he goes. His first catch of this third quarter, he had seven in the first half. It's also a first down. That's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in a game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes a quarterback look a whole lot better. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. On first down, Nix quickly into the hands of Mims. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and a yard. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack. And they can also get downfield and catch the football. Throwing on first down. Nix setting up the screen to Pirine. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. But looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. On second down, P. Ryan. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. 
third and one partner no need to be fancy there just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down so from the 39 now they'll come up on a first and 10. they run it again with williams down to about the 37. Second down and eight. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Trent McDuffie able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by P. Ryan. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. The kick by Lutz is good. And now they'll just need four touchdowns as the deficit is now 28. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the and just, just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The Chiefs offense set to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. From the 42-yard line, here's second and five. Here's Mahomes to throw. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield, and there's another completion. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate. In Second and ten. Mahomes now to throw. And he comes back with one complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. 
this is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Go, go. Now they're out there again to try once more. They'll run for it with Pacheco. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That was a really nice play, being able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free, and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. I had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Now here's Mahomes. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of 19. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just cannot find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion, and now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. Pacheco. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Brandon, at some point, these defenders absolutely have to say, We've just got to make a stand. We've had enough of this. Given up a lot of points in this game, but looked better on that play. From back at the four, here's second and goal. They go play action. Now Mahomes looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have taken a five-touchdown lead. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. A 
third quarter action from Kansas City. Second down and ten. Looking to throw. Nix. A short one of the tight end Troutman. And he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Here's Riley Dixon now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Fair catch called, it's taken in right at the 20 yard line. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter, a very one-sided affair. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. You just kind of feel for the defense right now. This deficit, they have not been able to stop them the entire game, Charles. And some hands on hips, some long faces out there on the defensive side. Oh, they're like, oh my gosh, we got to face these guys again here. Yeah, people don't understand how hard it is when you're on the side that's being dominated to keep your head up and continue to play hard. And that's what they're going through right now, trying to find that pride inside of them to allow them to continue to fight, even though they are down huge in this game. It's a first down, and that catch also puts him at 150 yards receiving now for the game. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. The Chiefs on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and seven. Here's Pacheco once again. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it'll be first and 10 Broncos from deep in their own territory. On first and ten, Nix, he completes this to Sutton, and he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11, first down. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now. And all they can control here is how their final plays develop. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Josh Reynolds that time. And that'll bring up second down. Back to throw. Nix hits his running back, Piran. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. 
Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in the game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Mahomes now on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Well, they have been unstoppable this afternoon, Charles. They just went after them from the start. And pass plays like we just saw, they're continuing their dominance here despite the big lead in the fourth quarter. And that they have in every way. And plays like that across all phases of the game, they've just been effortless for them in this one. That is caught by Rice for a Kansas City touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Butker now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Shoves him aside. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. And some play callers, when they go into games, they don't mind calling a lot of screens, and they don't care what down. They were maybe one block away from really having something there to start this drive. Good job defensively to cut through the blockers and make the tackle on the screen, or that could have gone for maybe 15 or 20 yards. To throw on second down, Nix. He'll get this out to his running back, p -Rock. Just a gain of a couple there. And now that sets up third and two. Looking to throw. Nix. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now. But as you mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for replacements. Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. I can assure you setting up a screen 
is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Again, he'll drop to throw. A throw over the middle, taken in by Troutman. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 36. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is. For this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. Second down and six now. They'll look to throw again. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Back to throw. Nix, he'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And the Broncos are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. Williams will try again. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Now Lutz for the field goal try. From the left hash shot here. The kick by Lutz is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. 
And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. This has really just been a lopsided affair. What a performance they put on, and now they get the football back here with a big lead in the fourth quarter. You know, in the past, we might be discussing dinner plans, talking about steak and sushi, whatever the case is, CD. This ball game is pretty much well in the books. Yeah, we really could have started bringing up dinner a long time ago if we wanted to, partner. And I think a few of the guys out in the field already making plans for the evening. Cody Barton there to bring him down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. 68 yards rushing for him now to this point. This offense so far on third down, they're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Pacheco gets it up the gut. Credit the tackle to John Franklin Myers. They work now on second and nine. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Pacheco. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. He continues to be a major factor carrying the football here into the fourth quarter, Charles. Another big gain on the ground. Big guys working strong up front. A lot of them not just taking care of business at the line of scrimmage, but getting into the linebacker spots and taking care of the second level as well. And they're taking advantage of everything right now on the scoreboard with that lead. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.